The next pattern in the organizing data series is called replace type code with class. The motivation here is that you have a numeric type code that you want to replace with an object. Now specifically this is for a type code that doesn't actually affect the behavior of this object. It's a property on the object, but it doesn't change the behavior in any way. If it did, if there were flags internal to this object that would key off of that code, then there are other patterns we would use for that, which we'll encounter later. But for now, we just want to replace these magic numbers with objects that would internally maintain any sort of state or any sort of value. So the first thing we'll do is create that object. Give it the code that it needs. That'll hold that numeric value. And for now, we're just going to give it a private constructor because it doesn't need to be constructed by anything outside of itself. It's only going to be constructed by some static properties that will replace these. And so now we can create those properties. We'll use the same magic numbers as above. Now the first thing we notice is that we have a duplication of some magic numbers here. We don't want that, so we'll have to get rid of these. And I'm pretty sure before we can get rid of these we'll need to rename that field because the compiler is going to think we're trying to refer to this field. Right. The compiler doesn't like that. So. It makes sense anyway to rename this field because it's no longer referencing a blood group but rather just the code of one. So we'll just use a simple rename field pattern on that. We'll do the same thing here. So consuming code is starting to prepare itself for the refactoring that we're doing. Haven't been any breaking changes yet. Now would also be a good time to run a lot of tests, make sure everything is still green. But we'll just keep moving forward. Still no breaking changes. We've at least moved the magic numbers internal to this class. And now we're going to want to start building a new backing field here. But in order to prevent breaking changes just yet, we're going to need this, this constructor to still take an integer. And so we'll need a way to decode it into the new backing field, which would be of the type blood group. So let's create some handy little helpers here, just temporarily. We'll make a factory here. We might want to put in some more error checking there, but we don't really need to. It's only temporary for this refactoring. And so now, We'll create our new backing field. And we'll set it here. Now we've duplicated our values, but we're going to get rid of this one anyway. It only has a private setter. 
So we can get rid of the setter entirely and just use a getter. Still no breaking changes other than just renaming these. Consuming code hasn't seen any changes at all. But now we can start breaking those changes. We can start changing the consuming code. So first we would get rid of this field here. Then we would go through any of the consuming code and update that, that code to use the new field. And then of course rerun all our tests. And then our next breaking change would be to use this. And again, we would go through and rerun all our tests, make sure we didn't break any of the logic. Now we can rename this field again to reflect the new state of affairs once again. Now we no longer have anything that uses this, so we can get rid of that. We could have skipped making it in the first place and jumped straight to this, but that would be a larger step that during which we wouldn't be able to run tests. So in the effort of keeping these in small discrete steps, little temporary helpers like that are just fine. And now, one at a time, we could remove each of these, go through all of the consuming code and point it to the new value here. And we would do that for each of these optionally running tests in between each one. And now we've, from the person class, essentially done the refactoring. Everything is encapsulated in the blood group class now. Of course it still has one leaky magic number to it, that things can still see this code. There's nothing they can do with the code. They can't build a blood group class because, or a blood group object because the constructor is private. So we don't need, to, don't need access to this code anymore. We can make the whole thing private. At this point, the magic number is now completely encapsulated inside the blood group class. And its only use would be in a, a get hash code function if we wanted to compare one type to another. If we wanted to compare, let's say, O with B, we would need a equals and a get hash code. So just for completeness, we can create those. And that's it. That's pretty much everything for the replace type code with class refactoring pattern. Thanks for watching.